The Lord is my shepherd; I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for His name's sake. Psalms, chapter twenty-three, verse one through three. Devotional: A shepherd and his flock. The twenty-third psalm is a powerful declaration of trust and dependence on God. Today, we'll look at how the first few words reveal a core belief that to accept God as our shepherd, we acknowledge that He is the one who provides for our every need. He is the ultimate source of comfort, guidance, and protection. Just as a shepherd cares for his flock, tending to their every need and leading them to safe pastures, God also cares for us, His children. The psalmist goes to the goes on to describe how God cares for His sheep. He makes us lie down in green pastures, a metaphor for providing rest and security. He leads us beside quiet waters, quenching our thirst and offering us peace. He refreshes our soul, restoring our inner strength and well-being. One of the most comforting promises in Psalm 23 is that God guides me along the right paths for His name's sake. Even when you are unsure of the way, you can trust that God will lead you in the right way. John fourteen six, He will not allow you to wander into harm's way for His name's sake. How can knowing the Lord as your shepherd provide you with the contentment when facing challenges? Repeat these words. Until they sink deep into your soul, the Lord is my shepherd. He will never leave me or forsake me. He will always provide for my needs and guide me on the right path. Prayer, God, thank you for being my good shepherd. There may be challenges, but because of you, I lack nothing. I am refreshed. I am content. I can find safety and security in your arms. Thank you for these powerful promises that bring peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture: The Lord is my shepherd; I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for His name's sake. Psalms twenty-three, verse one through three. Welcome. Whatever you are carrying, whatever hurt you are holding on to, open up your hands and visualizing. Letting it go, create space right now for God to speak with you. Honor God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made. That has been made, John, chapter one, verse one through three. What does this passage show you about the relationship between God the Father and God the Son? Take a moment to meditate on these words and offer God any worship that comes to mind. My concerns, since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. 
Colossians 3, 1. Picture holding out your hands in front of you. What do you need to hand over to God right now? As you talk to God about your concerns, ask Him to show you what to focus on instead. Thank God. God, I love you. You are worthy of all my praise, honor, and adoration. You heal the broken, and you bind up the wounds of hurting people. Your light casts out the darkness, and nothing can overcome your power. Your good and your mercy continues forever. Today, I want to focus on who you are and thank you for all that you helped me to overcome. In Jesus' name, Amen. Closing. Pause. God is with you and for you. Allow that truth to inform your thoughts and decisions throughout your day. Scripture The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Psalms chapter 23, verse 1 through 3. Da Wei the Shi Ye Hua Shi Wa the Mujo Wa Bi Bu Zhi Chue Fa Ta Shi Wa Tang Wa Zai Ting Cao Di Shang Ling Wa Zai Ke An Xie the Shui Bian Ta Shi Wa the Ling Hun Su Xing Wei Zi Ji the Ming Yin Dao Wa Zou Yi Lu Shi Pian Ar Shi San Yi Dao San